All right, guys. So uh, I've been speaking to my accountant, um, and it's become to the end of the end of the tax year now. So uh, by fifth of April, it's the end of the twenty twenty two to twenty three tax year. And uh, I got a lot of questions about what you can and cannot claim as a like a Uber driver slash taxi driver. Um, <clears throat> so I've had a good word with the accountants. Now my accountant is Andrew Neary Accountants in Crosby, Liverpool. Uh, this isn't a, like a sponsored post or not, and this is just me shouting them out. If if you want your accounts done by him, um, you can do it like wirelessly. So you can doesn't matter where you're in the UK, you can do your accounts for you if needs be, and he does specialise in Uber and taxis. Uh, but give him a call anyway if you um, if you need any advice and stuff. But I've just had a good word of him anyway, just to get it. I've got wrote it all down, so I've got to obviously read while I'm doing it because there's a lot of information and tax and stuff is not my strong point. So first of all, obviously fifth of April is when the tax year ends, and then you have till the end of January the following year to submit and make sure it's paid. There's some huge fines if you don't, by the way. So first of all, I'll cover the main thing you can claim as an Uber driver is your car, right? And there's two, there's a multiple ways you can do it. One, you can just record the mileage and let the HMRC do like an average working out. But he advises me not to do it that way. Um, you're better off doing it more in detail, which I'll show you now. So first of all, I'm going to cover if you own your car or obviously if you've got a car on finance, yeah? So the things you can claim for is your MOT and your plate, fuel, repairs, servicing, insurance, valeting, road tax. Now, um, people think that you can pay um, cover for your, your payments, for your finance. You can't, right? What you can do is you can um, claim for your interest on your payments and you can claim on your um, car depreciation as well. So, they're the things you can only claim for is your interest on the payments, not the full payment, and also your car depreciation. It's a bit complicated, but that's why obviously you get an account. Uh, but you cannot claim your monthly like outgoings on your monthly payments for your finance. You cannot claim on that. Only interest and depreciation. So, technically, anything to do with your car, if it breaks, repairs, whatever, whatever, you can get, you can claim for it. Do you know what I mean? So there's quite a lot of things you can claim for your car. I've just covered the basics. Now, if you settle a car, as in or, um, also called a track car or a car on loan, particular for the taxis or Uber or whatever, um, with them you can claim for the fuel and a hundred percent of the payments. So if your settler's two fifty a week, including insurance and car, and um, your fuel, then that's your expenses. Nice and simple. You've hundred percent of your payments and your um, fuel. You cannot claim for any of the other stuff, like um, repair service and stuff like that, because that's their responsibility to claim, isn't it? As being the settle company. Other expenses, right? I want. I, did you see my video the other day about the replacement car from Uber slash Axa? And you got to pay like a penny per mile. And then they'll give you a lump sum if your car's off the road for 24 hours. I've done a video on it the other day. That is actually um, an expense. So the penny per mile that you'd be paying, that's an expense that you can claim back. But if you get a payment out, as in if your car's off the road, that's classed as an income. So obviously if you declare them too, that's great. Um, obviously your badge, getting your, like your driver's badge, your medical, your DBS, any tolls you pay, any parking you pay. Now your mobile phone bill, a percentage of your mobile phone bill is also um, tax uh, an expense. And also um, you can charge £6 per week to do your books at home. So you know when you go home, you've got to do all these calculations at home. The ATHMAC actually gives you £6 per week as well. That's a little sneaky one you can claim for as well. Um, also a big point he wanted to point out to me is Uber income and commission so you know obviously when we, we receive the payments just say I receive two grand a month off Uber in my bank right and you're ignoring the commission because that obviously comes off before you receive the payment now if um, the commission if you just put that as an income the government the HMRC has a ratio of a taxi driver's earnings two fuel expenses claimed so as an example 
a hundred pound worth of fuel, you should be bringing in six to eight, uh, six, six hundred to a thousand pound income. So that's the ratio they're looking at, right? So things like one to six or one to ten ratio. So if you're just declaring your Uber income after their commission, then it looks bad. The ratio's off. So what he always says is, and I've been doing this for a while, is make sure you put in under income your Uber before commission, and then you put the their commission is an in as an expense. So make sure you do that. You log into Uber online, you, you can get all that information. And that's a big thing. And also a few things that you cannot claim as well, where people think yeah, that you can. You cannot claim food. Um, and you can't claim like clothes or anything like that. Um, unless it's like branded with your company logo. So if you own your own airport transfer company and you've got logoed with Clobber, then you can claim. But you can't claim for normal clothes. You can't claim for food, any type of expenses like that. Now, I think it's a bit different if you go, say, you got a job down to London and you've got to stay the night and then you've got to get a meal or whatever. Maybe that, that could be thrown in as a one-off. But day-to-day, -day, your food could not be covered um, because you can take in a pack lunch, you can nip home, grab some food, stuff like that. So that's one thing that... I think you used to be able to claim for that, but you can't claim no more. Do you know what I mean? But that is generally the basics. Um, myself, personally, I've always had an accountant because, in my opinion, they will, they will legitimately have things to claim for that we will not know about. Even though I've told you most of them, there's still probably sneaky ones that, that we don't know about. And I've always said that, for one, their payment that you pay them, I can't remember how much you pay, Andrew, I think it's like two, two, two fifty, something like that, between two and three hundred um, a year. Um, and that is an expense anyway. So that comes off as an expense. And also, I reckon they save you a lot more money then you pay them, if you get me. So it's well worth, and also it's just easy. I record my income, I record my expenses every month on a spreadsheet, and then I just send it to him at the end of the year and go, sort that out, man. And he sorts it for me. But um, but yeah, guys, that's it, really. If there's anything I've missed, let me know in the comments, because there's a few sneaky ones as well. Um, and I've just spoke to him over the WhatsApp, so there might be something that we've slipped or we missed by. But there's definitely, um, I've covered the, definitely covered the basics. And... Um, and do, 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 do. Yeah, but the main one, this little sneaky one, is the six pound per week for doing your books at home, and um, definitely, 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 when you declare your top line Uber income before your commission, and then put your commission as an expense. Do you know what I mean? Or otherwise, your fuel to earnings ratio will be well off, and if your ratio is well off, that gives you the target on your back then to look into it and go hold on a minute. He's declaring this wages but he's doing this much fuel something's up here do you know what i mean so make sure that's spot on guys now listen i hope this has helped you out i've tried my best i'm not very good at all the tax and that stuff but i know a lot of people have been messaging me about tax information and what's what you can and cannot claim so i hope this video has helped you my brain is frazzled i spent nine minutes talking about tax stuff and uh, yeah i hope it's helped you so um nice one and i can hear my dog snoring in the background and hopefully you can't hear it because it's annoying what's that did you hear it? He's old. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and all that jazz. And I'll see you soon. Peace out.